water, and more water, and even more water, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> water. All right, we are back to the Temple Morph Adventure Banger. Notice Edna and Harvey, the Breakout Anniversary Edition. Edna is a young schoolgirl again, no longer locked up in the insane asylum. If you missed the last episode, we actually got out. No, I'm, I'm kidding. None of that actually happened. We're, we're uh, traveling back in time because we need to learn how to forge my father, or at least a signature in general. And we got to do this alone as the boy Harvey, because Edna's not going to help us out here. So let's uh, start looking around. Oh, it's Alfred, by the way. Yeah. Let me see. Can we do anything with Alfred here? Alfred is such a moron. It's a moran. Edna knows a few great ways to insult the ugly frog face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was um pretty much evident with the last video. Brain dead mother friggin' vomit munching horse fornicator. Edna? All right, so we have Alfred as the, uh, basically, with, uh, if I remember correctly, with Harvey. All we can do is, like, pick up topics, and then we use them on Edna, and she does something with them. So, right now, we're just supposed to collect information for Edna to actually do, because, hey, we don't really exist. We're just part of her imagination, in general. So, look at note. It's a note from Addis, Edna's father. Hmm, which we could probably use for the signature thing, right? I wonder if it can be of any use. All right, so we have a note. Hey, um, Edna, I got a note for you. What does that piece of paper say? Oh, it's a note from my father. He just forgot to put marmalade on my sandwich again. Oh, savage. Absolute savagery. We have a map. Can we use the map? I don't think we use the map. We have a window. So got the window. Ooh. Edna's not going to believe this. A Ferris wheel. Okay. I'm gonna pick up all these things and just, um, taunt her about it. Edna needs to know about this merry-go-round. Exactly. I mean, she doesn't really need to know, but I need to torture her. Edna is the queen of the slide. She can even slide uphill. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a new ice cream parlor. Do they have Blamange ice? From the looks of it, they've got everything! Hmm. I'd die for an ice cream. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again, and I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! Edna Conrad, you keep interrupting the lesson. I'll give you an official warning. On the third warning, I'm putting you in the cupboard. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. Oh, really? Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a merry-go-round outside! I love merry-go-rounds. This lesson is beginning to be a real torture. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! That is the second warning, Edna. Interrupt the lesson one more time, and I'll put you in the cupboard. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! That's it. Enough is enough. Into the cupboard. Come on, move it. But... No back talk now. Ain't I a stinker? Well, um... I'm not sure what that really accomplished for me other than just my own satisfactory pleasure. How do I... How do I get Edna out of there? Oh, 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 there's a hole. There she is. <laughs> That's heartbreaking. I feel terrible. She's locked in a cover with apparently Carmen San Diego's coat. Can you reach the letter? Sure. Hmm. I can't make out anything. It's much too dark in here. You could pass the letter through the hole. Then I can read it for you. Good idea. This is incredible. The letter is from Dr. Marcel, addressed to Mr. Hornbush. The doctor is paying him money to hold you back in school. And he stresses that under no circumstances are you to be allowed to leave class early. Especially, and this one's underlined, when the weather is good. I can hardly believe it! Obviously, Dr. Marcel has been carrying out a personal vendetta against me for a long time. He'll pay for this. This all seems a bit illogical to me. 
But I've seen it written in black and white. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Maybe you should ask Mr. Hornbush to let you take part in the lesson again. I can't believe that you, of all people, would say that, Harvey. Why? We can wreak more havoc that way. That, of course, is true. Mr. Hornbush! Isn't that your father's handwriting on the note? Yes, why? It's just a little memo about my sandwich. Well, how about we create our own little note for Mr. Hornbush? In your father's name! You mean, we'll forge his handwriting? We'll just borrow it. After all, you have plenty of time in here to practice it. Or did you have other plans? Hmm, you're right. This really sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll even manage to get out soon enough to enjoy the weather. Okay, and that is how we... I guess we learn how to forge signatures now? Which we need to... get something here, more than likely. That's how you learned to forge signatures back then. You got so good at it that after a while you could forge anyone's signature. Just by looking at it. Alright, so my journeys have led me back to the bar. For a particular reason. While we were down here the very first time. I'm not sure if that... I kept it in the video or I probably cut it out if it didn't really lead to anything. But, I had an interaction with this barrow here that had a spoon. And I said to myself during that time, How the hell is that a spoon? Hey, don't touch that. That's the only spoon I could find in the whole house. My friend, you don't understand. I need the spoon to acquire the clay. One walkthrough, please. Yeah, you would like one of those, wouldn't you? It's <laughs> not on the menu, though. <laughs> I would. I, I need to know how to get the, the spoon. A glass of water, please. It's not on the menu. This guy operates strictly by this menu, right? I have a wild idea. An insane idea, some might even say, sure. But hear me out here. He operates based on this menu, right? Counterfeit signature. Yes, I think I can learn the barkeeper's handwriting. He's a bit dyslexic, it seems. He even writes stinky drink with three X's. Good idea. It's not on the menu. Of course it is. Bright and clear. What? Let me see. You're right. What came over me? I don't even have the ingredients for that. Where the hell am I supposed to muster up minced meat? If you'll excuse me, I have to go to the basement and fetch my rifle. You are... I'm like 100% sure you are just ducking behind the counter. Hello? Are you still down there? Hola. What's up? I finally found a... spoon for you. That's supposed to be a spoon? It has to be. The barkeeper stirred his drinks with it. Hmm. Well, what the hey? This will have to do until you found the proper one. Hmm. Thanks for your effort. Yeah, more than likely you'll have more success with that one too. Imagine that. Clay, aha! <laughs> Alright, we have clay. Now, we still need gold, we still need a master key, but hey, we at least we got one part of our little quest here done for the man locked up in the padded room. Oh, oh! Well, there, <laughs> there's the key right there too, Falcon, perfect. How about we just go on and grab that? That's not gonna I'll work. just try. Hands off! That didn't work, did it? Yeah, I, I kind of figured, but you know, you, you have to try. Why does he have the shakes? My friend, are you alright? Well, let's talk to him. I hate to interrupt, but... Make it snappy. Is that the master key? Is that the master key? It is indeed. And it opens all the doors in here? All but one. Mm-hmm. What's that you're watching? I'm watching the loonies. Usually, I prefer TV. But there's something wrong with the aerial again. Shame on those unreliable aerials. It's not that bad. The morons can be quite amusing. The only problem is that you start getting a little loco yourself. If you keep staring at these monitors for too long, 
you'll see them start to form letters. Did you drink all that water? Don't remind me. I'm bursting. But I'm not supposed to leave my post. As if anything ever happens with the loonies. But I'm pretty strict in this respect. There's a reason why they call me Bladder. Have you seen Waterworld with Kevin Costner? Stop talking about water already. Can you imagine that? A whole planet covered by... No! Water. And more water. And even more water. As far as the eye can see. <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> water. I will stop if you take your ass to the restroom and you leave that key here, buddy. Otherwise, I got plenty of more references to make here. Like, my cousin's a firefighter. My cousin is a firefighter. Stop talking about water already. You can't imagine how much pressure there is in those hoses. I can! I can! I think we have to turn this one on and it would say WC. Or maybe somehow turn those on. Because my idea is... Let me see if I'm even the right... There it is. WC. I think that's the way you have to do it to get him. So we gotta go into that one room that's dark for one. Okay. This right here is the dark room that's missing from the monitor. So, let's see. At the same time, not far away. Yes! Oh yeah. Lights on, lights off. What the heck? The monitors. They're showing a pattern. It's a message. <laughs> the, but he took the key with him. Edna, he took the key! What if we follow him into the restroom? <laughs> Try to snatch the key that way? Oh, <gasps> There's the key. Okay. How's this gonna work? I thought all he had to do was urinate too, by the way. Why is he in the, um... I mean, it's fine if you're tired, you want to take a, s a squat to pee, that's that's understandable, I guess, but normally, I mean... I don't know. Okay, um... Hey, stop it! Darn it! The key is attached to his belt. I'll have to come up with something else. Oh. Okay, um... I'm not sure how he would have noticed, but can't we just cut the the buckle off? I still got the, the, the shears, don't I? Use a knife as well. Right, let's let's try this. Maybe I can try to reach the loop of the belt with the scissors. Hey, keep your hands off. Ooh. <laughs> Why must I lug around every bit of dirt? We need to mold it. We must mold it. Can we use what? Cool. Now I've got mud! Okay. Clay... mass. <laughs> Can we, like, now press that into the key? Is what I'm hoping, and just get the indentation? Because we need to get gold anyway to make the key, I right? I think I could make an imprint this way. Wow! That really worked! I'm Sherlock Holmes! You're Watson! I'm Holmes! I'm Holmes! You're Watson! No way! I'm totally Holmes! What's going on out there? I'm Holmes, and you are Inspector Clouseau. Deal! <laughs> well, we got what we needed. Let's get out of here. And by the way, I'm Holmes, you guys are both Watson. Alright, so we are back here in the recreation room because we still need to talk to the guy in the tent. That is what Padded Man told me. That's one of the things we haven't done yet, so... The problem is we have to get through... Druggle Jug. To do that. Unless maybe I could just give him the slip? No. Druggle Jug! What? But I need to be granted an audience with the king. Druggle Jug? Alright. I can see that. I'll have to earn a little respect. How do I get Druggle Jug to respect? Hello? Druggle Jug? Is that your name? Druggle Jug. Am I not allowed in there? Druggle Jug. But I need to be granted an audience with the king. Druggle Jug. Too bad. <sighs> what a guy. 
If only I could impress him somehow. But ow, he's not giving me hints. Um, Harvey. Maybe I use Harvey on him. Harvey? Isn't Drogojug a fine specimen? Hmm. I'll admit that I'm a bit jealous. No, no, we're not here fawning over Drogojug. As handsome of a man he might be with his... Faded away look and... Sad face and everything, but... Look, we need information. I have one more question about King Adrian. Fire away. I'd like to get to him, but Drogglejug won't let me pass. Oh, yes. Drogglejug is as unyielding as his appeal to the fairer sex is strong. <sighs> Don't get your hopes up. Women fall at his feet in droves. Perhaps it's that intellectual aura he radiates. <laughs> He is very well read, our Casanova, and he's rather witty in conversation. But even though he might appear rough on the outside, he's very sensitive. How do I get past him? After the king has ordered him not to let anybody pass? Never. He is the most devoted soul I've ever known. He'd grant access only to the king or some higher authority. Okay. I'm glad I talked to um, Demented Bruce Wayne here. Higher authority. Or the king. Well, obviously we're not going to do the king. Two hours later. It says there's a surprise in the box. <sighs> Don't tell me this is it. So I, I've been <laughs> trying to look around, talking to people over and over to figure out like what the hell we need. And I started to go through rooms to rooms now and we have landed here, which is by the restroom of all places. And there's apparently a surprise in his corn box. Cornflakes box. Whatever it is. Poofs? No, it's cornflakes. So, hold up. Let's, uh, use this. Hey! There was a surprise in there! It's a brand spanking new authentic police badge with small parts that could be swallowed. Cool! I bet only the toughest cops get the small parts that could be swallowed. We have... A police badge. And that's probably the higher authority. All right, Drago Chug. You gotta let me in. I'm on official police business here. Hold it. Paraonithological branch of the FBI, Special Squad. Sergeant Edna. Drago Chug? Of course I can show you identification. Drago Chug. You bet. Can I have access to the king now? Drago Chug. Cool. I mean, thank you. <laughs> We've done it! Well, well, well. My scouts reported that you'd be coming. A new power, they said, is on the rise in the eastern realm of the recreation room to overthrow me and my kingdom. What are you talking about? So, you managed to overcome my god. Poor, devoted, Drogglejug. I will avenge him with your blood. What? But woe is me. My hand is weak, for the weight of a sword is far too much for me to bear. Have I been temple morphed into the wrong game? Before you usurp what my dynasty has achieved through the years, my castle, my throne, and my gold medal from the Jigsaw Puzzle Contest. You will have to defeat me in a mental duel. Are you prepared for the challenge? That's all fine and good, my good sir. I'm not here to... He apparently wants to kill me. To avenge Drogojug, who's alive and well outside. I mean, we are in an insane asylum after all. But that right there is the medal that we need, so we have to defeat you in order to achieve that to make our key the master key. Unfortunately, though, we're at a time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. We should come back and continue our journey of escape of the asylum. I will catch you next time.